the universe plays. We were looking into an inverter. We met Felix from FRF and uh, he mentioned his friend, Sean, and he's working for WE Enterprises. And look what we got. A new inverter. And now we are able to run 110. We're gonna install it and cool. you're gonna watch me. <laughs> nice. Jeff here? It's Jeff? Jeff? No. Sean? Sean! Sorry. <laughs> Sean okay. And he Sean. is, I'm sorry, he is a true Canadian. Look. He's talking to me with his Tim Hortons. Tim Hortons. I love it, I love it. <laughs> and he wants to introduce the, well, it's called XC2000, whatever that says, you're gonna say it better. Yes. So this is an, an inverter charger from Xantrax. Uh -huh. This is a 2000 watt inverter and it has the capability of inverting from DC to AC and it also has the capability of charging and transferring. So when we put power into the inverter from shore, we can charge up our batteries, but at the same time we can run our appliances, our aircon, our coffee maker, uh -huh. and anything else that we're gonna run off of it that's gonna be 120 volts. So basically what we've got is a very simple system here and basically we have the ability to convert DC to AC through these cables to run the inverter and we get 120 volt out here and we are running temporarily we're running a light right mm -hmm. now at night time or when you pull into a spot where you can get power from the house, the house or the grid or wherever you're at mm -hmm. we can plug in and we are taking power from our building and then what it will do it will switch over there it is that it just did there and we're at, right now it's saying AC input and it's showing that the power is going in and it's telling us that we're charging our battery. Mm -hmm. You can see it going nice. up. Yeah. And then basically when the batteries are fully charged, this system will actually shut off. If we have, for your example, you're going to be using your air con. con. The air con will run and the, the air con is prioritized. So it looks at what the air con needs and if the load on the air con drops or the air con capacity drops, then more power will go to the charging the batteries. Oh, right, right. And then we also have the ability for a remote. So this one's gonna be mounted in a compartment on in your vehicle. So yeah. basically we're gonna give you a remote which is connected by a plug on the back to a telephone cable on the back of this. And you're gonna be able to mount this and you're gonna be able to see what's going on and you're gonna be able to control. And start, that's the start. Yeah, start. Turn, it, turn it on and off. Yeah. And when you shut this system off and push the button, turn the unit off, it goes off 100%. There is no draw on your battery at all. Like, thank <laughs> you so much. You're more than welcome. This is so cool. Thank you. Empty. That's our closet. We're in our truck. Uh, we are, today we are going to install an extra inverter. This is our old inverter. It's a 230 uh, inverter. Here's our battery setup. It's right in here. Uh, it's 12 volt batteries, 410 amp hours. And that was the space for our old air conditioner. This broke on us and now here in America we couldn't find anything. So that's why we thought it's time for a 110 converter. And there it is, boom, it's gonna be here. This is our stair to the bed. Excuse the mess, but we have to empty everything. So now today we're gonna crimp um, the cables to the battery. Here's a fuse which will be on the red one. I think it's the plus. That's what I got told. I'm not an electrician but they said the fuse needs to be there and then we're gonna hook it up to this battery here and yeah then it should run. It has a charger included so this is our, uh, a charger cable so we're gonna go outside. We have already I don't know if you see that we have already here, underneath here, from the aircon, this was the outlet for the hose, uh, a way to go out of the car. So we're gonna go out of the car, 
we put it on the back of the truck and then we can plug in in any house and can charge even our batteries with 110 volt and then yeah we're good to go check it out oh yeah. nice we have outside don't pull plug. because it's not dry yet i know but don't we have worry. an outside plug right here uh -huh. which we installed you see in this video This is our charger cable. Um, I have support, you're gonna see him, Felix again. He's gonna help me to install it. We're gonna just cut this now. Mm -hmm. It goes to the charger from the inverter. Yeah, let's just do it. Let's destroy something new. Fun too, huh? <laughs> there we go. This is the cable that we took from the insides. And how is it on there? 30. <laughs> And on the back we made it, uh, actually Felix from FRF Hydraulics in uh, Brantford did it uh, with me. Uh, we put a plug in there, it's gonna seal, it's gonna be waterproof. And like you can see, all the cables go back into the truck to the charger. So, back to the charger. So here we are, back to the charger, the cable I just showed you runs back in here and the charger is like I said included with the inverter so from the inverter we have now here uh, two uh, 110 volt outlets we can plug in yeah, like here and this way I mean we just for a test we had this we have here 100 to 210 volt plugs or whatever so it goes back to my battery. This is my two 210 amp hours batteries. And here's everything hooked up. So we are back. Here's Jerry. He is uh, <laughs> he's now uh, cutting the, well, the plus pole, it's right? The plus, yeah, to the battery. And we're gonna install the fuse in between because we wanna be safe. Here in Canada, they use Robertson, I guess I heard. Yep. It's a total different system. We don't even have, I guess. <coughs> so I want to make sure that we use other screws that we can use. Also, my old system is hooked up there, which is, here's the 230 volt inverter. So that was my old system. But again said, it's 230 volt. So the advantage now, what we have, check it out, we have our generator, which we use in when it's necessary, uh, rarely, really rare. We have solar panels. We have, this is our old system. And right now I turned it even on. We run 230 volt. We are plugged in outside with 110 volt. <laughs> and here, you can see everything what happens with Xantrex uh, right now. I have to read a little more about that, but right now we are plugged in. It's charging, 13.8 volt come in, and it's charging with 81 amps right now, which is really, really, really good. And uh, yeah, so we have basically all the good parts from all the good parts of the world. Yes, it's really nice and help us a lot because now we can use it in air condition, we can buy a vacuum cleaner, anything that's 110 volts that we could not before. Now we are in a car that can go around the world. Yeah. <laughs> plus, hello, plus we can charge now. Yes. Everything and everywhere we are. We can use the electricity for the country and this is really nice. Before this was not possible. Exactly. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching. See you when we see you. Here we are back in WE Enterprises and we came here to see Sean that he could check one time more now that we have everything installed that he could check the inverter to see if is everything okay 
and right now is everything going good <laughs> he's proud of our work <laughs> yeah anyways they are inside there and they are checking everything and we want to be sure that everything that we installed how we did is everything okay and is everything functioning <laughs> 